After the installation of plugin, you should find in your Revit ribbon an app owner beam tab. To create a pipe system, you have to select first button on the left, pipe system. The window that appears allows you to configure the necessary pipe system. On the top of the window, you can select sector, infra or building, then country. This selection will define a country's portfolio range according to availability. Language. Here you can choose from English or native languages. The selected language will define the language of family name and additional models parameters. In the first drop-down list, you have to select system type. This will define a list of pipes applicable to that system. In the second drop-down list, you are required to select a pipe type that you want to create. When you select pipe, below appears an information about the diameter range of that pipe and the application to which this pipe apply. In some of the pipe types, appears an additional option. Flexible pipe bend load. If you check this option, the pipe system will load the pipe bends that allow you to draw also pipe network using natural pipe bending feature. Subsequently, you need to select a pipe fitting system. Depending on country's portfolio and the chosen pipe type, you will have different number of options. For example, for flexible pipe system, you have two options. If you will select Q&E fittings, another drop-down list will appear. It means that the Q&E system did not cover completely pipe diameter range. In that case, you need to select supporting system, which will ensure that in all sizes, pipe network can be built. Below the selected system, you have an information about fittings sizes range. The information will only appear if fittings, including elbow, T, coupling and transition, have all needed sizes. If one or more is missing, the range will not be displayed. We recommend that you check routing preferences configuration before drawing your installation. To sum up, the first chosen pipe fitting system will be used in the maximum possible range, and if it will not cover selected pipe sizes, sequentially selected system will complement the remaining dimensions until it covers size range completely, or there will be no more fitting system to choose. Below, only in some of the systems, you can additionally load some fittings that apply either to tap water installation and or radiator connection. The additional fittings will be from the same system as selected above pipe fitting. In case you will have two or more pipe fitting systems, all types of additional fittings will be loaded to your project. If you do not desire to load all the additional fittings, you can always find and load them from BIM library. When you finally finish configuring your system, click Create Pipe System button. Depending on the configuration, it might take a while. If you have more than one system and or selected additional load, the creation of pipe system will take longer time. Once the pipe system is created, a pop-out window will appear. Click OK. Now you can find a created pipe system under System tab Pipe button. The configured system loaded all available pipe fittings range from selected systems. So if you'd like to use some particular fitting from desired system, please go to Edit Type Routing Preferences. Here you can adjust fittings prioritization according to your needs. As you can see, plugin has set up fittings according to your choices. First, you have Q&E fittings that covers your pipe range from 16 to 32 and then fittings that supplement your pipe sizes range from 40 to 63. 